is going on uh, YouTube? Long time no see. Yeah, we're uh, on our way up to the Mackay road trip. Um, as you can see, perfect weather for drag racing. Um, Lucky racing's not until tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, so this is, uh, this is Thursday, racing starts tomorrow. Um, so we have the Corolla in tow back there, you can't really see it. Um, yeah, so we're just about there. We're probably 20 minutes away from the track at the moment. Um, Paulie and Shara are in front of us. See that. Um, so heading up there to see how we go. Um, Danielle's running in the manual class again. So is Shara. Um, so Danielle got second at her last event. Um, since then we have done a couple of things, nothing crazy. We put uh, changed the diff. The diff was getting real noisy um, in the last video if you watched it. So we've put a new center together. Um, change slightly, the ratio. Yeah, slightly changed the rear gear ratio. Um, so we're interested to see how that's going to go. Also um, have all the flat shifting and everything set up, um, which Danielle, she wasn't doing it last time. So she's going to give that a go this time to see how that goes. See if we can get those shifts, like keep it on boost a little bit through the shifts. and. We'll see how we go, but yeah, fingers crossed we get some good weather to actually, so we can race. Um, if not, I'm sure we'll have a good weekend anyway. Yeah, if not, to the pub, because to the pub. we can drive for 10 hours to uh, do nothing. Correct, I'm sure, we'll, I'm sure it will not go to waste, but yeah, looking pretty wet and gloomy at the moment. So anyway, guys, um, we'll uh, kick off with the action now. Thank you and welcome to our Northern Edition of the Road Trip Drag Challenge. Uh, thanks to our sponsors, to all you guys for coming along and supporting the event. Uh, last year we had uh, 79 entrants, uh, this year we're at 122. So a uh, big round of applause for yourselves guys, thank you for being a big part of it. Alright guys, so by now uh, all of our drivers should have signed in uh, and uh, have their wristbands on. So what's going on? Just out for a road cruise. Out for a road cruise, with all of our peeps. We got back there. Sara, Bully, all the other crew. Driving around the fire region. There's another car up here. We're uh, just left for our road course on Friday morning. Alrighty, look at that. Gorgeous. Very picturesque. Very picturesque.
get better. Wait, we go 678, that's better. The K Roller doesn't like us. The clutch doesn't like us. The clutch does not like us. The clutch, like clutch, like clutch, like clutch has pretty well middle. left the chat. Yeah, clutch is like, no way. Yeah. Alright, road trip, day one. Day one recap. Um, uh, terrible, terrible, terrible. Okay. Fucked. <laughs> That's a pretty good s summary. No, so what she, what she means by that is um, this morning we come up here, the track was very slippery. Like everybody, like, yeah. put it, Paul is racing his MUX in dial your own. We normally, that, we put a drag in that. It normally will run 2 seconds 60 foots on the street. Out here, Paul is spinning going 2.3 seconds 60 foots. It's literally like, um, and that is a standard MUX. Like, it's very slippery out here today. Um, so we have been fighting that a bit and one of the things we did is we were backing the clutch off a little bit so it's got a slipper on there we were backing the slipper off to try and not soften the hit on the tires to get the car to go to the 60 foot which worked it went to the 60 foot we did run a best of a 723 22 22 today which is still respectable like that's actually a really decent time for this track and, and manual um but the I think what's happened is that the culmination of back-to-back-to-back -back -back runs and the softer setting on the slipper, it has overheated the clutch. I'm really hoping that when it properly cools down, um, we might be able to get a pass in tomorrow and the next day. It's um, barely gripping to the point of being able to drive it at the moment. Yeah, so. it's uh, it's at the point now where it's very sad. Went through and just checked all the basic stuff, made sure that it wasn't riding, made sure that the slave, you know, it's got free play on the master and all that sort of stuff. Everything looks good. We even quickly just checked it in the pits to make sure that everything was working properly. It all looks fine. Um, I think it's literally just a, a heat thing. We've just put too much heat in the clutch with cumulative runs and, and riding it out to the out to the 60 foot so we can probably try we're still obviously we're up here we're going to try and make the best of it what we can but we're probably going to have to change our tactics tomorrow we're probably going to have to pull a heap of power out of the car maybe even try leaving in first gear probably just forget about the slipper entirely because the clutch itself is now a slipper um so yeah anyway um Still, honestly, this I mean, even a bad day at the track is still better than a good day at work. So, well, I don't know about that. It's A bad day at the track is better than a day at work, let's put it that way. Um, so, it's still good. It's still We're still having a good time. But yeah, I think we're going to the bar now, aren't we? To the bar, yep. To the bar. To the bar. <laughs> What's going on?
on the road home we got rained out on day three which I mean a bit of a curse and a blessing for us because our clutch had definitely left the track. Yeah definitely on uh, Saturday we knew well even Friday afternoon we knew the clutch was not happy um, we thought maybe we'd let the clutch cool completely down and see if we could make a run. On Saturday we turned the car right down for the first pass. We even tried to leave in first gear, which the gear ratios are not set up for leaving in first gear. It's got very, very tall ratio for a first gear leave. And even with the car leaving as more or less as soft as we could, um, it still was... Hectic you know, tyre shake. Axle, yeah, shook the tyres, <laughs> axle tramped out of the hole like very violently, um, just basically just overpowered the track, um, which... We were like, okay, let's not do that again. Um, and so we thought, we've got one more shot at this. Um, let's just go back to what we know. We'll try a second gear lead. We'll try all the normal stuff. We literally just backed this, like turned the slipper off completely because we knew the clutch was, it was its own slipper. Um, and so we thought, we'll see it. We'll just get one run. We knew even if it was a bad run, the car at least just took, went to the 60 semi okay it would be better than what we had yeah which was initially i think we had like a 9.4 or something yeah, like 9 that 40 and because like... it shook the tires so bad um and then so that's exactly what happened we went up we uh swung for the fences so to speak um and definitely went out in a place of glory um the clutch uh yeah the car went 880 i think it was but yeah it literally basically it was only under power for the 60 foot and then uh, it was straight to the rev limiter in every other gear several times. Um, there was absolutely no bite in the clutch whatsoever. Um, to the point where we actually had to rescue it from the return road and when we got back to the pits, it's, uh, there is absolutely no drive in the clutch. Yeah, clutch like, cooled down completely in the pits. Like last night, tried started it. Like you can put it into every gear without your foot on the clutch. Like it just nothing happens. Yeah, so you can even just put it into reverse. Like you can literally just put the gear box straight in reverse, not even touching the clutch. It doesn't even crunch. Like it's. Uh, I'm going to be. I'm very interested to see how bad it is because for it to be that bad, like it has absolutely no drive at all. Um, I think it'll be semi impressive as to exactly what's what has how torched it will be. So. Yeah. I was gonna say, we had a few comments about the fact that I was uh, rough on the gear, but I mean, I'm gonna break it, I might as well do it properly. <laughs> Definitely break it properly. But yeah, as Danielle said, um, the rain um, on, uh, uh, we got rain yesterday as well, yesterday in the afternoon, the, they didn't run the dollar rain shoot out and then rain again Sunday morning. Um, and so it did call the event early. So Mick and Jane, they pulled, they called the day and just went from the last day of competition, which was the Saturday. So um, as for the point standing, we got second on day one, and then uh, I think like fourth, fourth I think on day uh, two with the 880, um, and so that made us third overall. Um, yeah. And so yeah, anyway, not uh, yeah, uh, again, uh, not totally unhappy with the re uh, with the result, but yeah, obviously definitely the clutch um, giving way uh, during competition is not ideal. But. No, but we'll be going back to the drawing board got a few ideas so let's uh see what we find when we do pull the clutch and everything out but as for ideas i have been told by multiple people including oh, yeah. our closest competitor this one over here said yesterday as soon as the clutch was properly toasted oh well time to put that glide in the car and i'm like oh no we will not be i'm not finished playing around with the uh, stick shift just yet yeah scotty and scotty clibben as well in the little rotary corolla he told me that uh, basically he'd shoot me if I pulled the uh, manual out of the car so we're gonna persevere with the manual we'll go again with another uh, clutch setup we'll maybe try and we'll, we'll move a few things around um, and yeah we'll uh, see how we go but no we will be persevering with the manual um, for a little longer but I do always say they do have that glide sitting there and uh, yeah the manual's if it's, on, on if it's getting the glide it's getting a cage too yeah, that's true. Because um, that, that is, that definitely, is true. definitely not running 650s with the glide in it. No, yeah, it, yeah, correct. So anyway, we'll uh, till next time, guys. Yeah, we're gonna enjoy our uh, nine and a half hour drive home, and yes. we'll and a pub report, feed, and a pub feed. Yep, and we'll report <laughs> back about the clutch. All right, thanks Take for it watching. Easy. Have fun under there yet? Yeah. Ultimate destruction. Oh, I think we're about to find some destruction. Somebody's rough on the gear.
Somebody should have put better gear in the car. <laughs> Um, your job. Too busy that day. You're on the jack. No. Yes. <laughs> Alrighty. So I've just undone all the pressure plate bolts and anyone who's ever done a clutch before normally knows that when you start to undo these bolts it'll start to jack itself off the flywheel because of the tension in the pressure plate. Um, this one as you can see there is, it's not coming off at all. And uh, there is absolutely no tension on this at all. So let's see if we get this off. Um, I might switch back to Danielle. But uh, yeah, that is definitely, she is smoked. There's no tension on the pressure plate at all. It's been very, very hot. Very, very burnt clutch disc. Um, what do you need? Uh, I need like another screwdriver. Yeah, a th probably a thicker, a bit bigger one than that. Just a bit more. One lady owner, only driven on weekends. Mmm, spicy, delicious. That has been insanely hot. There is uh, a different gear ratio idea. Maybe not such a great idea. Very hot, Roger. Hagrid's drag racing in the rain. Broken. Broken? 